Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum using the green screen video clips and uh, this is the final result um, maybe not to everyone's taste but it's um, just an example of what can be done using the green screen techniques just going to pause that um, on the Sony Vegas project page um, the, tr the video tracks nearest the top are they have priority over the tracks that are lower down in the uh, project so tracks nearer the top block the image below so the only way to actually get the image below to show through is to reduce the opacity like this if I go further along see that shows the image below through there or using a green screen or blue screen or some other masking technique um, so anyway that's what we're uh, going to be doing today um, that, and that's the the structure of um, Sony Vegas um, the images near the top um, are the images that you see on the previous screen unless um, something is done with them that enables you to see the images below I hope that makes sense okay so let's get started so I've actually set up a project here already but what you really need um, at the minimum is some video images of your own um, that you can use for the project and some green screen clips that can be downloaded in YouTube there's quite a few um, that are available and they're all quite short clips that you can combine into your projects so as you can see on the screen here I've already got a few green screen clips but I'm going to right so the first thing I'll do is find the appropriate clips in the project media box and I'm going to go to some ones that I prepared, prepared earlier okay they're just coming up now and the first one is um, this one here so what I do is I click and drag that onto the um, video overlay track on the project and I'm going to bring that just there into the project and I'm just going to expand the timeline up and you'll notice here I've actually got a bit of an audio clip in there so I'm going to click on that and go to ignore grouping events and hopefully that should if I go on the cut that should cut that out so basically there I've got the video overlay and it's important to put that on the overlay track it's particularly important to put that in front of the video track because the video track is going to show through that green screen right so what I'll do next is I'll go to this other piece of media that I've got off of YouTube and again I'll drag that onto the timeline and as you can see I've got a bit of another bit of audio in there so I want to get rid of that 
so again I'll cut that right that's just the way it worked out when I was doing that so basically I've got these two clips and I've actually got the enable snapping on that's why it can snap to these various positions using that icon there okay so we've got the video tracks the video overlay track and the video track running parallel and they're at hundred percent opacity each you can play around with them and uh, get different effects at a later stage if you want to do that and um, basically we need to get the video behind the green screen mask to show through so what we do we go to the video effects and we go to chroma key plugin and in the presets we use the green screen preset so we drag that down onto the green mask clip and we have a look at the preview for that and let's have a look as you can see the effect of the video is showing through and uh, basically that is that is it really for green uh, green screen that there, there are other things you can do with the thresholds and with the eyedropper and the paint box and using different colors um, you can cr create different effects you can create blue screens and uh, uh, other types of um, effects on your videos so hopefully that has been helpful and I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, hearing and seeing the video and hopefully you'll tune in to uh, further videos in the future. Thank you very much um, for listening and watching.